Hello there fellow Mac users, I hope you are doing well. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Nuno and greetings from Portugal. So today, the 20th of August, Apple released the Beta 8 of macOS Mojave and also the Beta 9 of iOS 12 that I already uh, put the video, the video are uh, already online for you to check if you want. Now, let's focus here on this 8 beta of macOS Mojave, starting of course with the build number for this release and the build number it's the 18A371A, okay? The specs of this machine are on the screen if you want, pause it, okay? And check it. Now, let's go. Uh, the amount, okay, it took a little bit, we are talking about uh, 3.5 gigabytes of uh, download for this release, okay? In this machine, of course. Now, I also always like to check the SSD speeds, okay? So they are, you know, the same as the previous betas and as as well as Mac OS Sierra. So everything still remains the same of you know, on this machine and this machine is almost, you know, three years. So it runs perfectly, perfectly. Regarding Geekbench, uh, the trend is very nice. This is the Geekbench from the previous beta, beta seven. And this one, it's the, the you know, the Geekbench of this uh, release. Now, we are seeing uh, here a trend. On the, on the single core, everything remains the same, exactly the same. And on the multi-core, we are seeing beta after beta, a small increase. This machine, it's faster in Geekbench, of course, uh, you know, than iSierra. So I'm happy about that. But what it counts, it's not Geekbench, okay? What, what I need is performance on, you know, daily tasks. For example, Final Cut is not yet optimized. Um, when when it renders everything, it's pretty smooth when I want to multitask Safari, you know, when I'm waiting. But when I'm exporting the video, everything, you know, it's very, very laggy. Of course, on the previous beta, I'm not talking about this one. I will have to test it. I just install. So this is the first look. So I'll have to test if there is an improvement or not. I suspect that is that is Final Cut is not yet optimized for macOS Mojave, because when I use ScreenFlow for my screencasts, screencast or Handbrake for transcoding video, everything is butter smooth. But with Final Cut, no. So um, perhaps you know we have to uh, uh, wait for an update of Final Cut Pro 10. Now every, the previews are still here. Nice. Okay. So let's quit this. Regarding um, RAM usage, you know, sometimes Final Cut, you know, uh, quits and, and crashes. I don't know if you have the same issues. If you do, put on, put on the comments below. I want to know if I'm the only one or not. Now, regarding the RAM and the CPU usage on these devices with iStat menus. Now, let's start first with the temperature. We're looking about 63, uh, 60, oh, on the 60s uh, degrees Celsius, so pretty good with screen casting, with screen recording. The RAM we are talking about uh, five gigs of the 16 available, so um, very well, no problems here. And the CPU usage five percent, so pretty well again. This is a 2.5 gigahertz machine, uh, so pretty pretty nice, no issues here. Uh, as you can see, this is a Core i7, so the, with the hyper-threading I have the 8 cores. Now, everything seems good on this department. Guys, uh, I haven't saw, you know, many things that are different. Everything still remains the same. I think now they are polishing, you know, and uh, putting the system, you know, more compliant to the final, you know, the Golden Master, the final release that will be on September. We are hoping to see that on the 14th. I don't know if that's true or not, according to the rumors, but let's wait and see. Now, guys, this is uh, just a, a quick video. Let's go ahead to the system preferences because I already checked it. There, is a, there isn't anything new. Dark mode, 
you know, I will tell you what I want, what, what I would like to see. As you know, in, in I like the dark mode, okay? But uh, I'm a fan of having only the, the menu bar on dark mode and the dock, okay? Like we have on the on macOS High Sierra. This dark mode you have or light or dark, uh, you know, uh, a mid option to have the dock and the and the and the menu bar in the dark mode will be it, it will be appreciated. But we we have third part apps, third part app, third party apps. Sorry guys, that can do that. But you know, I would like to see the, that Apple implemented on their own. Now regarding you know wallpapers, you know we see a bunch of wallpapers on Beta Six, I believe. They still remain, you know, the same. Uh, the dynamic ones are working very well. So, uh, you know, as you can see, we are now at uh, 20 uh, p.m. And as you can see, the wallpaper on this plain blue uh, sky wallpaper, it changes. So no issues there. I also always uh, also, uh, you know, what I, I want to tell you is that the login screen let me let me go ahead and and show you that picture the login i took a picture for you to check i'll tell you why in just a minute and i'll airdrop by the way i'm just okay testing the airdrop now it's it is working from my iphone to here yeah it is going to the download folder okay very well the I took a, a picture, sorry about the pixels over here, it's a picture from the phone. Even if you are with a different wallpaper, the login screen, the login when, when you, uh, you know, start your computer, the login screen is this one. Of course, when the computer goes to sleep, the login screen, it will be the same as your real wallpaper. So when you start your computer, uh, the login screen is this one okay uh, despite what wallpaper you have on the background okay tell me if you have this issue or not uh, if not uh, i don't know perhaps this is a feature let's hope let's hope not now let's see if everything is working regarding taking a photo from my phone uh, yeah it is working let's take you to the clock perfect let's use the photo Mm -hmm. Is that a bug over here? Let's go ahead. Let's try it. Guys, sorry about the long video, but let's take a photo of the clock. Very well. Use the photo. Okay, it's over here. It is working. Perfect. Now, guys, for me, you know, this is what I want to show you, I'll give you a follow-up video regarding Final Cut, how it performs, and if I discover any bugs, I will also keep you posted. Go ahead, put on the comments below. Let's put, let's make here a thread, uh, you know, um, a comments uh, community, you know, in order for us to share, you know, anything that is going well or wrong, that will be good. And if you do that, I will post, of course, on the on the follow-up video and mention you of course now guys the social links are over there thank you so much for watching and for my bad english and i hope to see you in the next few days bye bye